to India Parent Magazine's Meaner Over Matters. That's Mom for You, weekly edition. If you like my video, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment so we know what your views are about us. Today, I have something interesting, some events to mention, and Jigra movie review lined up for you. First, there is Children Discovery Museum's Diwali celebrations coming up on October 19th, 2024. That is this coming Saturday. Diwali celebrations at Children Discovery Museum have become a favorite go-to place for young parents to enjoy with their kids. With Dia making, Rangoli, dance, music, and dance to learn too, kids and adults alike flock to the museum every year to enjoy the festival. It's specially made for kids to enjoy and understand the meaning and value of Diwali. It's a not to miss event, folks. And mention India Parent Magazine for some special deals. I would also like to present a great coupon to all you Indian food lovers. This is coming from the Dublin all vegetarian restaurant, Vasanta Bhavan. And this is in Dublin. Get any one entree and get a free, yes, a free appetizer. All you have to do is mention, yes, India Parent Magazine. And I would also like to mention some fantastic weekly classes coming up at Maker Nexus, located at Sunnyvale. They have soft felt and fabric pumpkin making classes. Um, and they also have make a recycled fabric wreath classes. Fusion 360, one that is intro to 3D modeling classes and so on and so forth, several classes. And especially with um, the Halloween coming up, the soft felt and fabric pumpkins must be a really a great class to go to. For more information on these classes and links, visit our website, indiaparentmagazine.org. Fantastic classes and very, very reasonable prices, folks. Again, mention the magic mantra, that is India Parent Magazine, to get special deals. Last but not the least, are you interested in buying or selling a home? Yes, a home. Then don't miss out on our top 30 women real estate specialists of the Bay Area each one of them specializing in one city in the Bay Area. Check out our website to choose one of them as your realtor, depending upon which city you want to buy or uh, sell a home from. They are very carefully chosen as they are friendly, knowledgeable, and they care about their clients. That much we can guarantee. Now, coming to the review of the new release, Jigra, starring Alia Bhatt. I must say that it is a major disappointment. A sucker for women-centric movies, I was a little excited to watch the film, though I'm not a great fan of Alia Bhatt's baby-faced, some, some, sometimes non-emotive and sometimes over-emotive expressions. And Jigra is a kind of expected, is a total waste of time. I should have trusted my instincts, folks. In addition to bad acting by the protagonist, but Jigra is unbearably slow, and the title song that keeps playing in the background in a continuous role irritates you to the core. Alia Bhatt's role as a strong, supportive, and protective sister is a big bore, to say the least. Her mannerisms, trying to be like a man, the way she tries to walk, talk, and emote actually ruffles your patience. What's wrong in just being feminine and still be strong? Strength and conviction is a state of mind and not a bodily way of expressing. Do you have to be a bachin, as she claims that she wants to be a bachin in the movie, to reach your goal? Why can't you be a Jansi, as in Kangana Ranaut did in her film, Jansi Lashmi Bai? Retain who you are as a woman and still be strong in your convictions. That's the way I like it. In addition, the movie is so slow and the actor is so boring and predictable that it's unbearable to sit in the theater. Music is very, very superficial and uninspiring. Alia Bhatt, who loses her father to a suicide at a young age, becomes overprotective of her younger brother, 
working in some vague capacity at her uncle's home, sticks to her job and doesn't communicate much with anyone. Her brother, however, becomes friendly with his cousin brother, trusts him, travels abroad with him on a business proposal and takes the blame for his cousin's drug possession, the punishment for which is death by electrocution in that country. Alia, who has two crores of rupees in a position that's about $250,000, travels in a chartered plane, a little bit confused as here as to why not a regular flight, and reaches that said country. Is it Malaysia? I'm not sure. Um, I, I was too bored by the time to even notice these little, little things, but she goes to a country where they speak Malaysian, I think, and where she meets some people who are in similar situation and want to save their own kids as well. And in Bachchan style, blasts open the entire prison system to get her brother out. In the process, killing or becoming the reason for deaths of several people, both innocent or otherwise. Like in the movie, Brahmastra, where Alia goes shiva, 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 shiva all the time. In this movie, she keeps chanting, need to get my brother out, need to get my brother out, need to get my brother out. Nothing else matters. Extremely predictable story and climax. And unlike the old Bachchan movies, this doesn't elicit a single bit of emotion or anger in the audience. Alia is stone-faced, her brother VP, her help formulaic. Avoid this movie if you can in theaters. I don't think you can sit through it, but I did for you folks. When available on OTT, you can still avoid it. It's Dharma Productions and the clown Karan Johar would have done much, much better as a producer. That's it this week, folks. Don't miss out on the Children Discovery Museum's Diwali event, October 19th. And namaste. See you next week. Mm-hmm.